It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation, and it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. We begin episode three, The Predator Awakes. Yep, we return with more slide two. Band of Thieves. Band of Thieves. Now it's time for us to get to work. There isn't much in terms of this area, but my god, it's, it's huge. There it is. We're gonna begin some Spice Room Recon. And there is heavy security. Let's get started. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. That's always the best option. Good. That's we'll be taking the long way now. Lego, you found a spice growing facility. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top. Then let's do that. Good. Has to be done. Another 
choice. Get dropped, dead. Why does it have to happen? There's the bridge. Nice, a gold pen. so far. Some of the vines around here are really slippery. Jump and hit the circle button to go for a ride. More like go for a grind. All right, we made it to the access tunnel. That's the only option you've got. All work ain't done. The clockwork heart is under some steep security. Heck, Rajad is carrying half of it at all times. To get at the goods, I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajad's office while I lift the Spice Operation blueprints off the Spice Lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, he'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. Let's go. Water bog run. Sly, the insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. 
If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. You're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug. I find that to be rather dumb. But hey, I'm all for it. Lost the bug. If only I can memorize the, where the pools were, so that way I can just do this. Here. Not again. These idiots. Not again. Yeah, this mission's the pits.
I am not a fan of this mission. Get there. Not again. other side. There it is. Shut him up. Alright, we made it. After like what, four tries? Even though it was a pain to go through. I wonder why I'm being chased now, just don't ask. Besides, we need to get started on the next mission. Time to hunt down Rajan. As I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. Now, normally it would be possible, but no. 
but no. Nah, normally that would be a bit easy, but yeah, we're gonna do it the cheap way. Sorry, but this game really has a habit of getting on my nerves. Alright, we got the first one. Come on, Rashawn. You can do this. He takes the bait as predicted. I'm not dealing with that. I'm out. Wow, he actually ran off. That's actually impressive. dealing with that. far. <laughs> Not a CV <laughs> takes the bait. Yeah, he takes the bait. What, were you expecting this to be a bit longer? Not really. Why is he getting not get caught? Thanks for the last blueprint, Rajan. What? The blueprints? They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. Yep. Now we move on to Sly. Time for us to free the elephants. 
Jean is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto! The satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. High up in the canopy, they say, huh? Fine. We can do that. Seriously? There's gotta be a way to reach all the way high. There you go. Yeah, you have to head that high. Got the spice plant. Time for you. This is why some of these maps are the pits. There is the other. That's two.
Yep. I'm gonna have to really find another way through. Oh yeah, there's also one up here. Let's get that. That makes three. Now I know. That makes four. Just a bit more. Now we need to get the last one. There's the last one. What a pain. Thankfully, all the editing then just saved me all the trouble. Sly, now take all the spice plants you've collected to the elephant's feed basket. Hope they like a taste of this. 
trust me. Sayonara, satellite array. Wasn't what I had in mind, but it'll do. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then, we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. Come on, do we not have all day dealing with these losers? There you go. Now let's get started in shutting down his operation. According to Rajan's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards. Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. That's at least a start. I'm within visual range of the Spice Grinder. What's next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while Spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. That should be the plan for the most part. God damn it. 
fine. Next time they go boom. Still, I can't believe this happened. The easy way, guess we'll have to do it the hard way. Hope they like getting obliterated. Make sure to get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust. Done, Rashad. Now it's time to get to work. Let's blow up the dam. Rashad's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. Can't be this hard, can it?
shoot him down. do this. Got it. Damn, I died. Fine, we'll do it the hard way then. think they'd be shooting. Hope he likes the flood. Yeah, that took a while. Let's get started. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Murray, 
you're on. Slice knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way. Yep. Let's move. Yeah, we gotta do it the long way. with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Nice. This ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. Consider it done. Find a way to get around. Thankfully, I could beat up that That does it. I'm mad now. Done. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. 
We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. That is that. What an ordeal. There it is. Now it's time to see what's up. This is Neela's secret. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Mila, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. You're being played, Cooper. I'm not kidding. You are being played. Keep them bit. Why does this keep happening? Remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... 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 And wrong for that date in Bollywood. Neela can't be trusted, Sly. At all. There it is. Just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked down tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. Oh, 
are you? Why? There's gotta be a way to reach up there. Fine, I'll just die so that way I can get back up there because that was not meant to happen. Come on. Nice, we gained one of the keys. Well, what do you know? These missions take the forever. Now let's get it, because we're done here. I'll see you when we finish things up. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell. See you then. This is Mayman Injury signing off. That's Peace it. out. Half the clockwork, Hart. The spice won't be growing around here anytime soon. You got that right. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a sledding pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat.
Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here.